Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a look at the right fit cavity sliding door lock, commonly used on new houses that um, new houses with sliding sliding doors for toilets and things like that. Sometimes for uh, laundries as well. This type of lock here has a small privacy function on the inside. When you turn this, it allows the lock to lock. From the other side, you have the same thing, but without the little flap. So you can actually use a screwdriver to undo it. Uh, so if somebody falls in the bathroom, it's not a big deal. You can simply stick a screwdriver or a five cent piece in there and just give it a small twist and undo. Looking at this lock here, um, I don't have one out of the pack, so I'm just going to give you the run through on this one. Uh, they say to wear safety goggles, a drill and a screwdriver. Um, that's clearly not all you need to install this lock. I have no idea why those pictures are there or why they advertise that. But if you have a look on the back of the lock, um, I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit for you there. They say to cut in a 57, 57 high by 40 46 deep um, part of the door. So you would need to actually carve in that whole recess there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll, there we are there. So you actually need to take out a big U-shaped chunk out of the door to fit this in the door. On saying that, once it's carved into the door, you're not going to be able to replace it with anything else. So if you do have one that is broken, and they commonly do break, uh, then you just need to buy a new one and refit it. We do sell these on our lock shop they're very easy to reinstall it's like a clamp type lock um, I'll show you the side of it here you basically cut out your door and you just slide it over the top um, install it with a couple of screws one and two and away you go on the striker uh, you can see here there's a little hook that will actually come out to lock and the striker plate is actually on the back here if you can see that there that's your striker plate you will need to uh, mortise that in and carve that in and also allow enough room for the hook to go into that uh, rectangle on the frame and lock in behind that striker plate. comes with four screws, two for the lock body which is fitted here and here on the other side and of course two for the striker plate which is fitted here and here. On the back all these instructions are there. Um, like I was saying before, you're going to need a lot more than just a screwdriver and a pair of safety goggles and a drill to cut a U-shape into a door. My recommendation would be to use a, a drill and a jigsaw and you'd get a much straighter line than what you would with a drill and a hammer and a screwdriver. So that's our lock. It's on our lock shop. Um, it's basically a very common lock and very easy to replace. If you have a broken one, feel free to purchase this and DIY it. It's not a problem. It is a, quite an easy one. The instructions are on the back and if you have any questions you can always email us and we'll be happy to answer any questions. We do have locksmiths uh, standing by to answer your questions as well so you'll get a, a response from a locksmith who has actually fitted these. They do come in two colours, silver and also brass. They're the only two colours they come in. It's a sliding cavity door uh, lock, privacy lock, great for toilets, laundries and things like that. I wouldn't use them on any, any um, strong or structural doors but for those type of doors they'll be perfect just to uh, keep the door locked and they work quite well. They are very lightweight but they uh, are easy to replace and easy to install. Further questions please email. Thanks for watching.